So you want to learn how to improvise on trombone. You've come to the right place. One way you can start soloing that's very underrated, that no one does and no one teaches because I kind of made it up myself. Forget music, forget notes, forget anything like that. Just pick up your trombone and start trying to play ideas. So for example, if you don't know your B flat major scale, you're probably not ready to improvise. If you don't know any scales at all, you're probably not ready to start improvising yet. You can play your B flat major scale, okay? Where? Say you can't play your B flat blues scale. I'm gonna tell you the notes right now and I'm gonna tell you the positions, okay? Very, very simple. B flat in first, D flat in fifth, E flat in third, E in second, F in first, A flat in third, B flat in first. Sounds something like this. That right there is your bread and butter for improvisation. Learn that scale really, really clean so that you don't even have to think about it. So then it'll sound something like this. So once you get it that clean, you're in good shape, okay? So now you wanna take some of the notes from that scale and you wanna start to play them within different rhythms, within different feels, and start to just play mini ideas. Okay, this is it right here. This is already improvisation. And start to fiddle around with them and play a few ideas, so like this. If that's a little bit too much, you can take a step back and you can say, okay, we're just gonna pick three notes from this blue scale. Now you start taking the next step, which is trying to actually play a full idea using all those notes. That sounds a little bit more like a solo, okay? Try to do the same thing in every single key. Now, this is gonna be a lot. All 12 keys is tough. If you know all your blues scales, or you know some of your blues scales, that's great. You wanna learn all of them, all 12. Because you're gonna see songs that are in different keys and you're not gonna know what to do. Say you have to play a G flat blues. Well, if you don't know your G flat major scale or your G flat blues scale, how are you gonna play over that? You're not. G flat blues scale sounds like this, and then I'll play some ideas. <laughs> The next step is all jazz improvisation comes down to two five ones. If you don't know what two five ones are, every chord change that you're gonna see in like 90% of jazz music are gonna have two five ones. Two five one chord progression is very, very simple. It's just two minor, five, seven, and then the one. So say we're in the key of C. What's the second note of C major scale? D natural. So it's gonna be D minor seven is a two minor seven because it's the second note of the scale, right? Easy. What's the fifth note? Because a two five. What's the fifth note? What's the five seven? G is the fifth note of the C major scale, so it'll be G7. So two minor seven is what we're starting with. The key of D, what's the third? F sharp, flat it, F. That's your minor third. One, flat three, what's the fifth note of the D major scale? A, okay, that stays the same. So D, F, A, one, flat three, five. What's the flat seven? Well, what's the seventh note of a D major scale? C sharp, so you flat that, it's a C. So D, F, A, C, so that's what you're playing for the two minor seven. <laughs> G7, all it's seven chord is, is it's one, three, five, and then flat seven. The difference between a seven chord and a minor seven chord is just the third. In a minor seven chord, you flat the third. Now we're doing the five, seven, which is G7. You're only gonna flat the seven here. You're not gonna flat the third. What's the third note of the G major scale? B. What's the fifth note? D. What's the seventh note? F sharp. But when you flat that, that becomes the minor seven, it's F. So you play these four notes. <laughs> And all these notes are in the C major scale. That's why 
the 2-5 works. I'm gonna pull up a 2-5-1 workout that we can play a couple of things over it, okay? So a great way to do this workout is to play this kind of like pattern. It's pretty simple. So I like to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. And these are the scale degrees for each mode. So it sounds like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude today's video. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate it so much. Go ahead and hit subscribe because you already know I put out videos all the time. You don't want to miss them. And it really helps the channel a lot. A lot of you guys who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So please hit subscribe. It really goes a long way. Love you guys so much. Make sure you always go the extra mile. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.